halfway through my kitchen task and one of the things that I really want to sort out is a cover for the bottom of the boiler. You'll see just there all the pipe works exposed. So I had an idea that I wanted to make this functional. So I've actually bought some spice racks from Ikea. They've been painted up and I'm going to attach them onto the front of the cover. So I've now cleared out all of the wood that I have in my shed and I've sorted it into sizes. So I've got a little bit of 6mm MDF, so I'm probably not going to have enough there, and quite a bit of 9mm. But I'm going to start off now by measuring how much wood I'm going to need. Push that back. So. That's 11 centimetres from the wall that I'm going to be having tiles on there as well. So I'm going to measure it 10 centimetres and it should go to the wash. And with the height, I just want to make sure that it's not going to catch any part of the boiler. Because this doesn't actually look as though it's straight. The boiler's actually 45, so it might be best off just going with that. So I'm now going to take a look at the wood that I've got and see which of the sides I'm going to be going to go. Actually these least water damage that I have been using for painting but that's fine, that can be on the back. So I'm just going to measure and mark up. So I'm using a thicker piece of wood as a corner, so I'm going to screw each panel into this. So I'm just starting by securing one screw in first, and then I'm just drilling some pilot holes. I'm just making these the same size as a screw head, so that the screws can go below the wood. So 
of on all together I just popped it in place under the boiler just to check that it was all of the right size so that I could make any adjustments if need be I was struggling a little bit with the wires underneath so I did just need to cut another hole just so that this was easy to get in and out so now I'm just marking up where the spice racks need to go and then I'll fit these onto the front So with the spice racks now fitted, it's now ready to paint. I'm just using rust oleum chalk paint. It's colour flint, which is actually a really good match to my kitchen cabinets. So before this was an absolute eyesore and now I'm really really pleased with how this has turned out. It's functional, it's easy to pull out for access and I think it's going to look really great once the kitchen is finished. I do apologise about the state of the walls but it is a work in progress at the moment. If you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. The completed kitchen renovation should be up in the next week or so. Thanks very much for watching and I will hopefully see you again soon.